All right. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy first day of the weekend for those who happen to have the weekend off. Um, I've just popped back in. Let me turn the flashlight on so you can see things. I've had some folks that told me it's either too dark when I don't have the flashlight on or their gamma is just fine. But I thought, let's turn the flashlight. Yeah, I've been gathering up a lot of stuff here and kind of post yeah my son here he just sat down he's like looks like a lot of stuff is duplicating and I would say yep I think so let's take a look at the food food yeah we've had the food and stuff there's my pan so yep uh, the wood situation that that's always kind of fun for me it's almost like Christmas let's hop down and see where things are so I've had, yeah, look at there, we got more of the uh, jackets. Oh, I'm wondering, hey, I'm wondering if when an item duplicates, if it retains the exact same steps or uh, stats, or if it gives me something different. Okay, so that's contaminated. Look at that. Every time it duplicates, now all of these say crude, and this one says infected. The reason I even dropped it in the first place is because it was contaminated and it looks like the one that it spawned is not contaminated. So if you ever drop something in the world and it duplicates, pick it up and see if the stats change. Now the only thing is I'm afraid to use items that have duplicated since those weren't something that was originally in the world. I don't know if it's going to have any problems down the road as far as you know being bugged or causing something to get corrupted and messed up now I think this was corrupted when I picked it up yeah that's getting nice it hasn't duped and it is contaminated so we'll drop it also because I'm loading back into the game my infection has gone away yay for sleep so I guess when you think about infection you can think of it just like being ill Leave the game, get some rest, come back, cold is gone. Alright, let's take a look at how my wood is duped out. Ooh, that's very interesting there. Let's pop out here. Yeah, some of that's hasn't duplicated much on that side. Let's see. Well, my son just said, can you walk through it? We can't as the player, but the zombies, because they have, they're climbing. Yeah, they just, they can climb over stuff. Now, what would be cool is if they add into the game, like a built-in parkour. So when I play EverQuest Landmark, your character has a certain amount of automatic parkour built in. If you hit certain obstacles, your character, you know, if you press forward to walk over it, your character kind of interacts with the terrain a little bit. Uh, so it would be nice when we maybe get some better movement stuff. I can, you know, actually walk over some of this stuff. Well, my son says he wants to see parkour like in Titanfall. Don't really think that would fit the theme of this game. Maybe if the zombies did parkour. I'm going to pick up the guitar and I'm going to pick up my frying pan. So what I'm going to do, yeah, my my son's here talking and, and he said, yeah, you're going to go kill zombies with it. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I want to do. See, I've got the pistol, pistol for up close in case I get overwhelmed. So we'll just swap out the rifle with that in fact let me drop the rifle up here and there we go perfect I love you too son alright now I'm trying to think of all the different directions we've gone I think we've hit all the compass directions we've gone south west I believe I don't know if we've done and said just east let's head east Okay. Oh, hold on. 
Is my flashlight dying already? That was fast. Well, we will turn it off. All right. There's some zombies. Let's see how good a frying pan is. Alright, order up. Well, well, it worked. He tried to eat me, but I got him. All right. Yeah, let's see how this works. Cause it's the final countdown. Yeah. Oh, you know what though? Ugh. Oh man. This is not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. What son? Oh, just enough time for them to all get up here. Well, you know what, though? Oh, hey, but it hit two. Oh, he got me. He got me. Dang it. I'll make sure I'm not backing into him. Okay, so that did not work out at all. And... <laughs> It's probably dark. You can't see much there. We got a little battery back. Oh, let me tell you. That was awful. You probably missed all that. All right. So, I guess I will just leave the pistol out because guitar and frying pan are not necessarily my friend. Ooh, East. Prison. Is this the prison I always go to? I think I've pretty much have now hit all the places that I can go. Ooh, yeah, there's a herd of zombies. I don't remember the name of the prison, so I can't tell if that was it. I think... I think we've hit the point in our uh, little expedition here that it's time to move on. Let me come back to the farm. I'm going to pick up some of my stuff here. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to move out and find a new location. I know we spent all that time gathering supplies and now we're going to take off. I think what I will do this time though, when I head out, is just take more food with me. Because um, now, of, of all the weapons I've tried, that just for ease of use and for like finding ammunition, the 22 just seems to be the best. 22 pistol, the 22 hunting rifle. I love all the other weapon systems that they have. And when the barricading is fixed, and where I can actually put together, you know, like a little home then I would feel a lot more happy about making an armory and having a place to store all these different things. So for now, let's gather up the food. I'm going to leave like the pears and stuff that can... I don't know if the food will rot on its own after time or if you have to find it generated as rotten food. So I'm just going to take the canned stuff. Let me see. What takes up less space? It's all about the same. So we'll take cans of food. We'll leave the bananas. The chit takes up a lot of room, but it actually restores a lot of your hunger. Uh, let's see. How are we doing on food? Okay, let's grab some more ammo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and drop the frying pan because that, that didn't work out. And the guitar, as cool as that is, yeah, not so good either. 
And I'm going to take my... I have a 22 hunting rifle around here somewhere. These ones with the big scopes. And then let's take some more ammo. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's lots of ammo. Trust me, we're going to find more. So let's go ahead and grab some more food. The packaged food. Wow, look at that. We did pretty well. You know what? And with that being said, let's go ahead and take some of this fruit. This will be the stuff we eat first. Eat the fruit first. Eat the fruit. Let's see here. I guess banana takes up a lot. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and swap and reload. Turn the flashlight off now. Great. I mean, as fun as it was to bash stuff with the uh, frying pan or the guitar, they're just not effective. Yeah, see, even my furniture is duplicating over time still. Yeah, that sucks. So I know that that was something they said they wanted to fix. It's just didn't quite work out. So we're going to go find a cabin. <laughs> my favorite. Let's go towards some woods, find a road in the woods, and then see if we can find us a cabin. I have a love-hate relationship with the cabin, because the cabin, I think, is super cool, but I cannot get up into the attic space very easily. Uh, at some point, that will be something I figure out how to do. I don't know if that's a herd up there, or just a whole bunch of random zombies. I think that's just a bunch of random zombies. Because the herd is usually packed a lot tighter than that. Yeah, that's just a big group. So we're going to head out into the woods. Now with the uh, the cabin... Wow, well maybe those are a couple of herds. Huh. Hey, guys. Road. Hit that road and go on in. But yeah, but with the cabin, I just mm, I want to be able to barricade the windows. I want to make a little ladder system so I can hop up into the attic and use that to store food and stuff like that. Um, I know I had it set to where I could go on top of a cabin that I had found before, and I was just going to live on top of the cabin and turn that into like a little defensible structure, which could could work right now I, I don't think they have rain anymore so I wouldn't feel too weird about living on top of my cabin for the simple fact that you know I'm not exposed to the elements it's uh, pretty safe now it just goes from day night now this might not have a cabin because it's so close to some actual looking towns so we're just gonna follow it through yeah, we just I just did a, a Road to the Apocalypse, and they talked about foliage, and uh, they've put, put up some screenshots of uh, the new trees. And I think a lot of the problems I have with trees, like when I move my camera, you see how they kind of like... Wow, someone described it as like a, uh, a children's pop-up book kind of effect, where they just kind of look really weird. But apparently the new tree system will eliminate a lot of that stuff. Okay, so this road really didn't help. There's another prison. Let's go up past the prison here. Something looks tilted over there. Hmm. World refresh. Fingers crossed. Oh, boy. I think I've only crashed once with the new world refresh, and that was before the hotfix even. Like, when build 13 first came out, I was running, I hit a world refresh, and it crashed. And I thought, you know, I was like, hmm, 
Yeah, they fixed that all right. But then after that, I haven't had a single crash during a world refresh. I feel a lot safer about it, which means I don't feel as scared to want to go out and explore. Now, speaking of the foliage system and the trees, I think they I think their grass and foliage currently is pretty good and varied and there's a lot of it. And it looks kind of grassy. And look at there, it's swaying in the wind and the breeze and stuff like that. You don't really see it swaying too much when you're moving through it. A little bit. But I, I think their system is pretty good right now. So I'm really curious to see what it will be like when they implement the new foliage and the new grass. Because I, I, I like it. I currently like what they got. So if they're putting something new in then what they're going for must either look really really good or it'll be more optimized for what they want and will get better performance so if it looks better and gives better performance go ahead bring on the grass because I've played a lot of games where specifically grass and foliage really is a big frame rate killer because it takes a lot to render in all of these patches and to you know have all these individual blades of grass now it's not that it does model each blade of grass individually but you can see all the different blades of grass so there's a lot there we're gonna run past this prison it in the distance almost looks like that's gonna just kinda put me at a dead end I don't know if there will be a way out to continue further this way so that might have just been a wasted trip But I won't know until we swing around here. I really don't need to go into this prison system. I tell you what though, the zombies are pretty dang smart and they do a pretty darn good job of finding their way in through that front gate. So I know there's been plenty of times where it has felt like I have killed off lots and lots of zombies. Like if I wanted to maybe fortify the prison but they just keep finding ways to funnel on in through that front gate. So if I do make a prison a home, um, it's going to take a lot of work to try and fix up that front gate to try and keep them out. And then the problem is, with the way that they randomly spawn into the world, they're probably going to keep finding ways to get in because they'll just spawn inside the, the gates here or inside the fences. So I'm still kind of wary about taking over an entire prison complex. I don't feel too bad now. Like when I first started, when I first started playing, I did not want to engage zombies. Um, and then as I played, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and fight the zombies. And I didn't want to shoot them because I wasn't happy with the gun mechanics. And then I wasn't too impressed with how many zombies they draw, the noise the noise to zombie ratio for what you're killing it just felt like I never had enough bullets because so many zombies came like I don't know where they came from but they they just heard the sound and came so now though my last few episodes I've just been shooting zombies left and right let them come because that 22 ammo is not as powerful as some of the other ammo types but generally, the unless you do get like a big crowd of zombies or a couple right on top of each other, those extra powerful bullets really don't matter because those shots, that penetration power versus the rarity of the ammo, that it's really not that much of a, a an improvement. You know, like cool, I can shoot through two zombies, but rarely do I see a huge group to take advantage of all that penetration. See, even here, I mean, look, there's a bunch. Of zombies here but if I was to shoot this guy here in the head there's nobody near him for a high caliber shot to go on and kill another zombie because they're really spread out pretty far so the 22 it's fast it's fairly accurate it does kill him in one hit and the ammo is very very plentiful so let's see that all looks like a dead end I don't think I can climb those hills at all so let's see if this opens up and if I'm able to go up this road. If I can, excellent. We'll take it and then see that it goes nowhere. 
Okay. So this this is what I was afraid of. I wanted to come back in here um, just to see if maybe it pathed out. I honestly don't think I can climb these hills. I think these are too steep. We'll see. I'm going up a little bit. If I can get to the top of the hill and then move on down to the other side and we'll see if we can continue on and looking for a cabin. I don't know, I walked past that prison and talked about it a little bit and part of me is thinking, man, you know, we have visited a lot of prisons, but I have yet to really try to make one my home just because they attract lots and lots of zombies. I don't know why, but those seem to just, they're just zombie homes, it feels like. The prisons just have so many. <laughs> My son goes, duh, use your noodles, because the inmates they had. Yes, and true to a point, it just feels like no matter how many I shoot, they're just still bunched. Plus, they're on the outside of the prison. Ooh. If I had room in the backpack, I would shoot that buck and skin it. Okay, here's some roads. <laughs> My son said, just drop what you have that's not important. Well, I brought all this because it's food and my 22. I can. I'm getting a little bit hungry now. Let's see. Eat. 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 You know what? If I eat that and get full. Oh, oh, buck. Oh, yeah, it was a world refresh. There he is. I have enough room that I could kill the buck. Ah! Chase it! Reload and chase it. See, I had to admit though, that's one drawback from the 22. Excellent at killing zombies, not so good for hunting. I will admit that. The actual hunting rifles do a much better job of killing the buck. That I will admit. But since I didn't want to carry all that ammo... Oh, where'd you go, buck? Dang. <gasps> well, I don't see a buck. Dang, I did. I lost the buck. Oh. 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 I spooked him. I got too close and spooked him. No, 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 no. Don't go towards the zombies. No. Oh, dang it. I saw the cabin. I'm going to go back to the cabin, I promise, guys. But I really want that buck. Oh, I'm afraid to go down the side of this hill. I might not get back up. Where'd you go, Buck? Ooh, I like this rock. I like the way that just kind of juts out. I think the Buck is gone. Yeah, I shot it and then spooked it and it went down into a bad spot. That's even if I hit it. Alright, well, let's go check out our cabin. Hello, gentlemen. Full. Hello. to the pistol for inside the building. Oh, I don't think I'm going to like this cabin. Look at the way it's built on the land. Dang it. We get a cabin and it's janked. 
We'll go inside though. Janked is a fancy way of saying messed up. Alright, what's that? My hand is on something. Oh, a can of beans. I couldn't even see it, but can of beans. The hatchet hammer. Salt for when I do get the jerky. Oh, look at there. See, the 22 rifle. The cabin always has cool stuff. Oh, someone's already broke the windows there. Mattresses. See, an actual hunting rifle. That's what you need to kill the buck. And we've got food. All right. And it's not difficult to defend. Look at that, I got ammo and stuff all over. Now, I did see a zombie out here. My son asked what happened to the barn. Well, the barn outlived its usefulness. Oh, hello. I left all of it behind to just go out into the world. Yeah, I took... Oh, there's another buck. Oh, well, you know what I can do? Is I can drop off my 22 because I've got stuff here. Let's go ahead and pick up the hunting rifle and see if we can go kill that buck. So what we'll do is drop off some items here. We'll leave the salt. Now that I know I've got salt here. I think it was... <laughs> Food. Alright, let's go pick up that actual hunting rifle. Oh, let me check out my backpack stats. Versus just normal. Okay, I won't worry about it too much. Is there another backpack in here? Yeah, let's check this one. Just curious if you get one that's got stats on it. That's contaminated. We won't need... Yeah, we won't need that one. Drop. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put this in. I think that only holds one at a time, yeah. All right, I did see a buck. Well, I see a zombie there, but I thought I saw a buck. Which direction am I going? I'm going to go south a little bit. South, south, east, south, south. I could have sworn I saw the buck. Oh, goodness. I've seen a couple bucks. I've engaged a couple bucks. I really wanted a buck. And with the actual hunting rifle, I would have a much better chance of killing this thing in one shot. Let's overlook here. Hmm. Zombie. There's the prison. Shoot. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a buck. Hmm. Well, we got lots of housing. Okay, that's, I think, where I came up originally. I came up this way. So there is a buck that hangs around the area. I won't give up hope yet. There's a chance I could still get a buck. Alright, let's go on back to the uh, cabin here. What I wanted to do was make a fire at some point as well. So we'll chop down some trees. Let's see. I know there's a zombie around here somewhere. They probably heard the gunshots. Ooh, what's here on the ground? Oh, 
Oh, just a shadow. How many hunting rounds did I get? Twelve. Yeah, I don't want to waste those on the, uh... Oh, hello. Did I kill you? I don't remember shooting anybody out here. Huh. Alright. How safe are we? Let's take a quick look. Alright, let's go ahead and... Take the fancy rifle out for a moment, put the hatchet on. I didn't do this while I was at the farm, but I love doing this here in the cabin. There we go, tree. Let's see how many pieces of Whoa! Wait a minute. Really? All that? I only got one? Oh, that's terrible. I need like three to make it. Dang it. And then I just took all the time to swap that out. That was actually rather disappointing. Come on. At least give me two. Oh, you're... Wow. Those trees were disappointing. You know what they need in the game? Marshmallows. Because I'm about to make a fire. Oh, here we go. Now we got some trees. Chunks. See, I was thinking, you know, going back to like a, a skill-based system. And in my mind, I don't want a level-based. Like, I, I don't want this to be a role-playing game where I kill, you know, a whole bunch of zombies. And then, ugh, Kill a whole bunch of zombies and I'm like, you know, level f 5 or something. You know, that's, that's not where I envision the game going. What I want is maybe just individual skills, so like Lumberjack. So those trees I chopped down where they only gave me one piece of wood, that to me would make sense from point of view of like somebody with a low wood cutting skill. Then if I over time increased it, then I might be able to get like the lucky load of like five pieces. So realistically, you might say, well, you know, if you chop down a tree, there's a lot of a wood. Yeah, because it's really hard to screw up, you know, burning a, a tree. So I get that, you know, but I, I would like to see some rewards, if you will, from. Oh, let me make sure I'm close enough to the fire pit here. But it would be nice to have some kind of reward system based on, like, how good my wood chopping skill is. You know, do I get two pieces of wood, three pieces? Not that if I chop one of them small trees down, I should end up with, like, 20 pieces of wood. But it would be nice to kind of see, you know, maybe get two or three. I, I don't know. Just in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. should be kind of a skill-based item. Uh, okay, I currently don't see any zombies there. So now we're going to stand next to it. Oh, I was trying to figure out what that little symbol was on the hand. And when you get close enough, time to light it with a match. Oh, wait. Let me just. There we go. Automatically use this match. Flashlight off. Yeah, I'm trying to think, how would I be happy with a lumberjacking system? Okay, so we already know you can chop down a tree, and let's say you get five pieces of wood. Because, like, thinking about it, you know, if I chop down a tree in real life that's, say, ten feet tall, I mean, potentially that's, that's a lot of wood. And even if you chop it down, it's not like 
you horribly mangle the wood that it can't be used. I can burn wood in whatever shape it's in. So there's always firewood, kindling. Now, if I was going to make something from it, then yeah, I might be you know concerned about the quality of the wood that I chop. So maybe that would be something you could do. Um, when you chop down a tree, you might get you know X amount of wood each time. But how about how useful that wood is? So for example, if if I have a low chopping skill, whatever you want to end up calling it, and I chop down a tree and it drops five pieces of wood, maybe only one section of that is usable for actual crafting. Because in the process of trying to chop it down into like one foot sections and stuff like that, I didn't mangle it terribly. But all the other wood is just fine for burning, no matter what shape it's in. And then the higher that your wood cutting skill, when you break it down into sections, you get more usable sections, like when you try to convert it into the two by fours. So maybe you could take one section of wood, and depending on your like your uh, your wood cutting skill, maybe you get two two by fours out of it. Although those small chunks of wood, I don't see how those actually turn into a two by four, you know. But you know, if you had a system like that. I th and, and it was just purely skill based not a level based or anything like that so the more often that I chop these trees and then convert them into two by fours and stuff like that I get better at doing it so I'm not as wasteful with the wood let's go ahead and pick you up now alright so I was looking to see if this is drawing out any zombies this is something we don't talk about this as much as I talk about barricading but this is definitely something that I hope gets fixed well they know it's a problem so I know it's gonna get fixed but something I would like fix soon is that light sources that's the backpack I dropped light sources show through buildings so if you look I'm far enough away from the light source that on the back side of the building you can't really see it so if you had zombies in that direction I don't think they would be drawn to the light now it's possible that light sources whether you physically see it through the building or not the effect of light might transfer through the building so I don't think um, from what I heard they said that the light sources are not working as intended so, in my mind, I mean, I th it would be neat where if I shuttered up the board or shuttered up these windows with boards, that that would be a way to block light coming through the building and then that these walls block the light or the effect of light completely because, you know, man, it's, it's, a, it's a wall. And then you'd have to be worried about the effects of light coming out through the window. Now, the thing is, though with the game because I don't know if the zombies like if they just see a sliver of light it draws them like how realistic their light system is in terms of the zombie vision and I'm thinking if they tracked it by percentage of window covered because we've seen in the barricading system it's really hard to cover every potential little gap just the way that the stuff builds and stacks on top of each other so if I did put enough, say, you know, plywood sheets or just a whole bunch of 2x4s, even if there was some slivers because you had maybe 90% of the window covered, that that would effectively block outgoing light. And then same with like these windows. As long as you block like 90% of it, then the light, quote unquote, gets blocked and can't be seen. Even if there's a sliver because, you know, it's hard to get things lined up a hundred percent exactly. Well, I just ate all that food. My guy's hungry again. Now I was looking to see. I don't see any. Don't see any zombies. Now maybe it has been fixed. I know they said they were working on some zombie intelligence stuff. I don't know. I. I've just started a fire because I just wanted to see if the zombies would come and actually right out here they haven't 
I mean, if they haven't seen the fire, they definitely will see the flashlight shooting out through here. Hmm. Not too bad. And I do believe uh, it's a, either a bright night or the morning is already starting to come out. No, I think it's just a bright night. Huh. Because it used to be I would build the fire up in the attic. Now, I knew that the zombies would still see the fire even though I built it in the attic. But what it allowed me was a little bit of protection because they weren't trying to bust down the door. Like, they could come into the cabin, but they could not get to me because they couldn't climb up into the attic. Unless they were already up there in the attic. So why don't we... Usually there's a chair. Oh, that's what's not in here. There's no chairs or a table. Uh, I don't think... Unless I manufacture me a plywood sheet, I'm not going to get up into that attic. So we'll worry about that next time. So there we go. We got ourselves a fire. got our cabin. We'll start to organize this a little bit better. I can actually put the rooms to purpose. Like I can put one of these as an armory. See, that's got mattresses in it. Let's clear you out. Because I don't think I need a mattress in the armory. Oh, unless I put it right up here. <laughs> Not that that's really going to keep them from coming in the window. Um, I'll, I'll try to put some barricading on these windows there. And we'll just say that's where I'll sleep. Does this have a mattress too? No. Uh, since that's got a lot of food and salt, we can make that the food place. And then we can make this the armory. And then we'll have a living room. Not too bad. And we got our fireplace here. Yeah, we can make this a cozy little home. Alright, so not much happening here as far as action goes. I know you guys like watching me go out and killing lots of zombies and mayhem, but you know... Sometimes a person just needs to sit, relax a little bit, soak in some heat, and watch the sun come up. Okay, I can't see the sun come up, but I can see it hitting on the trees and the shadows and the sun is coming up. So we have survived the night. Perfect. Well, alright everybody, I think that is good for the day. We uh, moved out from the farm. There was really no reason why I wanted to move out from the farm other than I wanted to move out from the farm. That was it. As much as I talked about how much I love the farm and that barn in particular uh, with barricading the way it's at, you know, I can't really fortify it the way that I want. The cabin, not that I'll be able to fortify it the way that I want, but it's already kind of a nice little home and I can defend it because if I see zombies and stuff at the window, I mean, I can just go shoot them. I mean, it's not that big a deal. And then it's, I'll just turn it into a little home. Plus, I've got a prison nearby. I do have a little town nearby so I can go and scope out more equipment and stuff and I can go ahead and just put a bunch of things in here. If I was making my own map, then I know that that barn, so right now I know in the world I've got a barn that's got lots of equipment and hardware. I'll do the same thing here with this cabin, except I'll actually have a room to put the armory and a spot to say, hey, I'm going to go to sleep. You know what I might do, though, because that's so far away from the fire. We might sleep near the fire. Can I jump on it? All right. So there you go. This is the uh, first setup of our new home. We'll go ahead and organize it next time. As boring as that is, I'll let you all watch me organize it. And then we'll start planning our raids down into town and possibly into the prison. So that's what we'll work on for uh, next week. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye.